Speaking at a workshop, the regional governor, Piyong Ganate, emphasized that traditional leaders are pillars of development, hence their coming together should always bear new ideas. Coming out of my beautiful house, coming to the community place, and the community place is in the position that it is. And it's all over. Go to a Bukiro community hall, you go to a Shonginde, you go to a Shinene, go to wherever. They all look like that. Some of them were government, they built beautiful halls for them. The halls are empty. You can play soccer in them. They're waiting for government to bring a hundred chairs. If one member of the community only contributes a hundred dollars, we can provide the chairs ourselves. We must stop becoming too reliant on government. Because the one who fits you is the one that you serve. No, she mutu bumbu me kupo bi kuri aluhe. Ongu moto kuri romu kare lewe nambalu. And we should be servants of the communities we live in. They should be the ones feeding us. And this is what some traditional leaders had to say. It is important that traditional leaders meet regularly and exchange views and ideas on what is happening in their various traditional communities, instead of waiting for the once-a-year meeting arranged by government. Leaders must interact. It is important that we know each other and that we know what is happening in other traditional authorities. Because when traditional leaders are meeting regularly, to exchange views and ideas on what is happening in their various traditional communities. It is very important, instead of just waiting for us to meet once in the Council of Traditional Leaders meeting, uh, arranged by a government that is uh, meeting only once, uh, one week per year uh, uh, here in Namibia. So for leaders to interact is very important. We know each other, we know what is happening in other traditional authorities. Gariye Kawari. NBC News, Khobabes.